Scorpio, hello. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to get right into the messages for you, Scorpio. This is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Scorpio. Don't forget, these are general messages. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check with your other placements or any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. Ah, if it's not resonating for you, or even if it is, you might get a little extra or put some of the storylines together for yourself or different aspects of your life. Follow your gut. Follow your intuition, Scorpio. All right. Let's begin for Scorpio. think I've seen this card for you at least in quite some time we have worry first card out I'm learning that worry does not change an outcome yes Scorpio I think you know this worry is a wasted energy it is a human condition it is um, important to acknowledge when you're having anxiety or fear or worry that creeps up, but it's also important, especially at this time or whenever you find yourself at this reading, but we're in heightened energy, heightened consciousness or ability to kind of tap into um, more of ourselves, the depths of ourselves. Where's this worry coming from? Is it insecurity? Is it based on, um, you know, not having a solid foundation? root chakra issues let's see we're going to keep going what else do we have for Scorpio we have loneliness grief overall we have imagination all right, Scorpio, you've definitely gone through um, quite the healing journey. And I see that you have come pretty far. However, there's still probably a bit of an imbalance between the root chakra and the sacral chakra and the heart chakra. All the lower chakras from the, the fourth chakra down. So it all stems from the root, which is based on our um, basic survival needs and feeling safe and secure in this world, in your body. It can cause fear. It can cause worry. Could be financial fears as well. Loneliness is the next card out. I know that I'm never alone. There are times on our journey, especially on the healing journey, when we must go it alone for a period of time. And sometimes that period of time is a lot longer than we expect it to be, but it serves its purpose. This is a period of time to be able to go within, deep within, and really get to know yourself. And we humans, the ego is like, I know all, I know myself, I know all my quirks, I know all my traumas, I know all of these things, yet there's still more um, that we're always unraveling and realizing and recognizing. And what I'm seeing here is grief. There's some unprocessed grief or still some part of the grief process that you are working through, getting to acceptance, and it seems as though you're really trying to race through this. Uh, overall imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. We have patience below that. So yeah, trying to kind of race through things and missing some key elements to what uh, the lesson is here for you. To open yourself up so you do feel safe and secure, you trust. You trust your journey, you trust your path, you trust yourself. 
when we have an imbalanced root chakra, the sacral chakra, which is the center of creativity, feels blocked. You feel a block in your creative juices at times. There's some unprocessed grief still that may be coming up for you to um, take a deeper look at so that you can really truly work towards understanding, resolving, and releasing. Let's get a little deeper into it for you, Scorpio. And there may be other times where you feel completely and utterly, to, it's, it's a spot, you know, we're always, it's waves. Sometimes you may feel completely and utterly um, inspired and creative. What I'm getting here is that you've had a big boost in imagination and creativity, but then it comes to a halt. It comes to a halt because of this worry, because of loneliness, and because of grief. Definitely parts of the journey, and each part has its own lesson in it, uh, its own understanding, self-awareness, self-understanding, self-actualization. These cards are saying Scorpio, and uh, you know not to worry. Thank you. You know better. You have the gift of sight, insight, and um, imagination, creativity. This is second nature to you. I see the owl here who can see in the dark, actually sees better in the dark from a higher up, from high up in the trees. It's wisdom. So what are you worried about? Nine of inspiration. There could be a little bit of, and this falls below the, the loneliness card. A little bit of um, not fully coming out of your shell and into the heart. There's a little bit of guardedness there. A little bit of self-protection because you're very sensitive. This could also be why you're very selective with whom you allow into your life in, in surrounding your energy field. You could be actually purposely doing a long-term hermit, hermitage. However, that's changing. Death. You are transforming and you are going to be flying very soon, Scorpio. Just be very mindful as far as how much you're doing. Are you taking breaks and taking time for yourself? Are you just constantly giving, 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 over giving, overdoing? Can fall into that people pleasing category. And I know that the, there's probably tendencies here, aid of materials. Also really juggling a lot of balls in the air, really trying to push through Ace of inspiration because you are inspired. You have vision, you have insight, and you really are trying to execute everything that comes to you. Slow down, Scorpio. It's important to slow down, especially at this time, so that you can allow the spiritual realms, the cosmos, to work its magic within you and around you. You're not fully in the driver's seat, Scorpio. I'm not sure, if you, and you are aware of this. <laughs> but sometimes our mind, our ego mind gets in the way. Sometimes that worry, oh my God, am I gonna be able to pay my rent or food? You know, These are things that um, basic survival needs can cause us to fall back. And I don't really see you falling back. It just is a, it's, we you kind of get a little hung up there sometimes. And that's why you're doing a lot or doing too much. Not taking enough time to really 
follow and listen to your intuition download the messages for yourself clear out whatever is um, coming to your mind's eye in your dreams in your um, understanding of this is no longer me shedding old skin I can't hold on to this anymore my cat wants to go outside you're gonna have to wait Luna okay you've overcome so much Scorpio don't worry you have the strength the endurance the courage the fire the vision the night vision not a whole lot of people have that night vision you know don't let it go to your ego strength again overcoming a lot of challenges here give yourself a pat on the back i see you being really hard on yourself i have the chills right now being really hard on yourself your expectations to actually fulfill all of these intuitive hits that you're getting that are really hitting the heart um it's a beautiful thing and your imagination is a beautiful thing but you must process the grief and the loneliness and the worry address these things for yourself Scorpio just address them look at them take a peek so they don't hinder you so they don't cause you self-doubt pain falling back into old patterns I can't really see you doing that at this point but sometimes we had a little hiccups here and there don't read reversals the Sun fell out in reverse just to show me that there are times where your energy levels are low you may feel a lack of enthusiasm a lack of energy tired there's a reason for that allow yourself to continue to process grief follow the stages till you get to the point of not only acceptance I accept I accept that everything happened to me I accept that I lost things that were important to me I accept that I acted a fool at some time I accept it all then after that wash it away it's in the past the past is no longer here be present be here now get excited for the future your vitality will come back Queen of Pentacles again you are a giver you have much to give and you are willing to give of service give of yourself give of your time your energy and your skills <laughs> my cat <laughs> two of pentacles tread lightly one step at a time we have patience there with queen of cups below this Get in tune with the emotions, the intuition, the internal navigation system, with your heart, compassion. I'm also hearing compassion, compassion, compassion for humanity. Take one step at a time. Very careful, because if he takes the wrong step, he's going to step on a snake. You're not doing that. You are being very meticulous here. The two of pentacles in traditional tarot is usually the guy juggling two pentacles. So you're like in and out, or you're here and you're there. But I don't see that here. I see him very carefully taking the next step and knowing, trusting that the next pentacle will be placed in front of him for his next step in a safe manner. No worries, Scorpio. We're going to get you some advice here. No worries, man. We're going to get one last message from Native Spirit oracle for you and if you're liking this video so far Scorpio please don't forget to click the like button below the video if you are not subscribed please subscribe and feel free to comment I love to read all of your comments I truly do they brighten my day okay I also enjoy to hear 
um, what other people are experiencing. And if you are resonating with the, with the, the messages, um, I'm interested, I'm intrigued in humanity's experience. Okay, Scorpio, final message, advice for you. Because that helps me help others more. The more I am getting feedback and understanding what others are experiencing, that gives me more inspiration. Oh my, okay, we have two. Okay. Hmm. Interesting talking stick came out of here. There's probably something that you um, actually want to like teach, present, talk about. We're going to start with Song of the Wild. Because Talking Stick Can, it came out after the fact, on the side. New horizons await you. You're ready to savor the wonders of the world. Take some risks. Oh, this could be why you're worried too. You might be stepping out of your comfort, comfort zone. Take some risks. Answer the call of the wild. Step out of your comfort zone. Live passionately. Take steps in the direction of freedom. Expand beyond your limitations and boundaries. Maybe it's time to take a journey or do something new and exciting. Your native spirit wants you to know you are entering a period of expansion and going beyond your self-imposed limitations. Even if you feel hesitant, this is the time to try something new and do things in a different way. You might even visit far off lands or wild natural places. Adventure often entails risk, but without it, life can become lackluster and stagnant. There's a vast new and wondrous vista just around the corner but you'll never see it if you don't venture out. I knew I felt like you were being a hermit and with good reason, healing and processing and everything. But then there comes this lag and it's just like, what? And I feel like with the Ada materials, you really have been just trying to do the same things over and over again, maybe expecting a different result or a better result. And it's, um, it's time to kind of add new elements. It's not that whatever you're doing is wrong. For some of you, maybe it is not really in alignment with you, but more so that sometimes we have to change things up. We have to get a little extra creative. So process your grief. Don't worry about loneliness. You shouldn't be lonely. Yes, we take time alone and yeah, loneliness is an epidemic in this world, but you are not alone. And I feel like you know that too, you do. You know you're not alone. For some of you, you may have been surrounded by people your whole life and this is new for you to have more alone time than you normally do. And it's like a program. It's like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing. Talking stick. Speak your truth. The soul loves the truth. Communicate from your heart and share your reality without hesitation. Be willing to stand before the crowd and share from your center. This isn't the time to be shy and hesitant. It's a time to heal through communication. You have the gift of a true leader through the way you communicate with others. Your native spirit wants you to know during tribal council meetings, a decorated stick called a talking stick would be passed around. Each council member held the stick he or she had the opportunity to speak from the heart. Each person in attendance would be asked to weigh carefully the words of each speaker. The talking stick reminded each person to be authentic. Communication restores trust and allows you to clarify your ideas, position, and feelings. It can be healing when you share what has been withheld. Now is the time to take a risk and have the courage to speak with clarity be forthright. Share any unspoken darkness that lays heavy in the heart. There are times to hold back and be discerning, but this is not one of them. Even if you're afraid, 
declare your truth for all to hear without fear of being rejected or misunderstood. When you do this, transformation and healing can occur. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like this is telling me one of the things that you may be a little worried about. Again, it goes back to um, being feeling a little insecure or because you are jumping out of your comfort zone a, a, a bit or a lot. And it is a, it's, it's something that's been in your imagination and there's a fire here. And you may have tried in the past and you weren't fully able to execute because you're still healing, you're still going through grief. And so you were overdoing it, overdoing it, and pushing it, and pushing it, and pushing it. Now is your time. Don't worry. You've got this, Scorpio. So that is your message for this week. I hope that you find this helpful for you. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.